Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Today, I wanted to talk about the essential accessories for me, and I hope for you as well, for the iPad Pro. I have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but these accessories are gonna work regardless of the size of iPad that you have, or whether or not it's the latest version, uh, because most of these accessories are gonna fit multiple iPads, uh, different configurations, and all that stuff. So I have the 12.9 here, and the first accessory is specific to the iPad, but they have it available for last year's iPads and the different size iPad Pros, which is the Magic Keyboard case. And I wanted to get this one out of the way quickly because it's the only Apple-specific brand product that I'm going to mention in this video. This case, uh, I think, really made this iPad a device for me that is a laptop replacement in most cases. I did a video talking about whether or not an iPad can replace a laptop these days, and so I'll link to that video so you can check it out. Um, but the keyboard case makes it an essential laptop. I mean, this is something that I can replace a laptop with 95% of the time, and I use my iPad for a majority of the stuff that I do outside of my office when I'm not on my desktop or on my Mac Mini, essentially. So the keyboard case, fantastic. Trackpad support, I mean, all of that stuff makes this an essential tool, and it also protects the iPad all the way around. Drop the iPad right in and closes it and it's got protection, except for the edges, so just make sure not to drop it. But the Magic Keyboard case, I think is a great tool for the iPad. So moving that aside, because everything else here is non-keyboard case related, uh, we're gonna look at a couple of different accessories that I find to be really interesting. The first one is this dock, or essentially like a stand that's also a dock uh, from Satechi and you drop your iPad right into it and it becomes a stand, propping your iPad up and then here I'll show you off to the side before I put the iPad in. It has charging support and then it also has a variety of ports on the bottom here. So you can see it has an HDMI out, it has USB-A, USB-C, a headphone jack and then it also supports SD and micro SD card uh, reader right in the back of it. So this essentially is a hub and a charger and it allows you to stand your iPad up for a nice viewing angle. And so I'm gonna go ahead and prop the iPad Pro in here and we'll go ahead and plug in the cable which is appropriately sized. Here you can see the cable off to the side here. It just goes right along the side of the iPad and then off to the back and then I can turn my iPad Pro on and boom, it's at a nice viewing angle that I can adjust just a little bit and then I can watch shows. I can utilize this as now a desktop computer because the second item that I wanna talk about is the keyboard and mouse that I use with my iPad Pro. So when I am not using the case, because the case is nice, but sometimes you want a little bit more space with everything, you wanna push the display back a little bit. You don't wanna have it so close because the keyboard's right there and then the display is right in your face. So this keyboard from Keychron, which Keychron has a variety of different keyboards with different key configurations, sizes, and stuff like that different uh, configurations with the keys as well for whether you want a clicky. This is the kind of less clicky option that they have. And I have a couple of different Keychron keyboards that I use at my different workspaces. But this keyboard works fantastic with the iPad. And then of course, connecting the Logitech MX Anywhere mouse allows me to move the mouse around in the same way that the keyboard case allows me to use the trackpad on my iPad. So all I do is power this on, I have the mouse, and I have a nice little configured setup here with a 12.9 inch screen, a keyboard, and a mouse. And this feels very much like a small desktop experience for me. And so what I like about the Keychron keyboard is that it's Bluetooth, it has Mac and Windows configuration, and then I can also connect it via cable. And it supports up to three devices. And so I can configure three different Bluetooth devices. I can use this with my iPad, I can use this with my Mac, and then I can also use this with a PC all from one keyboard, fantastic keyboard. And then of course, Logitech uh, wireless mice, 
the wireless mouse. Fantastic. Uh, supports up to three devices as well. You can toggle through those three devices. I have mine configured to my Mac, my iPad, and my Windows PC. So great devices that are multi-use across uh, multiple platforms and then of course uh, multiple workspaces as well. So there is another device that I use more on the go, and this is also from Satechi, and this is a hub that allows me to do multiple things that essentially this hub that I just talked about that is also a stand can do, but I don't wanna take that with me everywhere that I go. When I'm out shooting photos uh, and I wanna import them into my iPad, I need a way to get things into my iPad. It doesn't have an SD card reader in the side of it. So utilizing this hub here, uh, it has a hideaway for the cord, which is fantastic. You just pull the cord out and plug it right in. And then it also comes with this longer extension cord too if you wanted to use it more in a fixed position. Uh, or you can have this cord ran to maybe your computer and then you have the hideaway cord in here. And so you can always just unplug from your computer, take this with you, and then utilize the built-in cable that is USB-C. I plug this into the side of my iPad, and then I have two USB type A ports. I have an SD, a micro SD card reader. On the opposite side, I have two USB-C ports, which this is one of the reasons why I purchased this one. I can have power going in on one of them, and then I can still plug in another USB type C device. Most of these hubs do not support more than one USB-C connection. And so if I'm charging in one of those USB-C ports, then I don't have another USB-C port available. And then I have to bring a USB type A to type C cable and I'm just converting things multiple times. And so this particular adapter keeps me from having to convert too often. It also has HDMI, which uh, you know supports uh, sending the screen to of your iPad to another device. And then it also has a couple of connections down here on the base. It has VGA, which, you know, we don't need it as often, but it usually requires its own adapter and a much larger adapter. And so VGA is there for those instances where you're doing a presentation and the projectors may be a little bit older or it's an older TV that you're connecting to. We've got VGA there. And then we also have a, a network adapter right here as well for when you need to plug in for internet or connect to a local uh, area network for some odd reason. And the, I mean, this adapter just does it all. And I've had adapters that do a few of these things, and then I would also need individual adapters for those other uh, things. And this just does it all, and it's all in one. And it's about the same size as any other uh, kind of multi-adapter that I've had in the past. And that's why I carry this one in particular with me because it, it just covers all the bases in one brick and I don't have to carry multiple dongles and adapters having multiple things plugging and plugging in and coming off of a, a dongle adapter like this already, a hub, so that I can have more dongles hanging off of it. It's just you know, too much. So when I'm on the go, I'm utilizing this guy. When I'm at my desk, I'm utilizing the stand. Uh, and that allows me all the connectivity that is tricky to get into an iPad because the iPad only has one USB type C port. So what do I use to charge my iPad? Well, the iPad I think still comes with a charger, but who knows how much longer that's gonna happen. Uh, iPhones don't come with chargers anymore. A lot of devices aren't coming with chargers anymore. And we're seeing a lot of brands like Spigen come up with these different chargers that have uh, different configurations. This particular charger here supports up to 30 watts and it has one USB type C connector on it. And I can use this to plug into the back of this, uh, this stand that also has the ports on the back of it. I can use it to connect to this device and charge pass through to my iPad. Uh, or I can use it to charge a phone. They also have a variety of different power strengths as well. 30 watts here, there's a 20 watt. They have a 70 and a 100 that also has multiple ports on it. Something like a 100 watt could even charge your laptop because that's enough power, I think, to charge most Mac laptops. And so uh, 30 watts is substantial enough to charge, to fast charge an iPad, to fast charge an iPhone, 
uh, or any other device that supports fast charge. But if you want something to charge your laptop, they also have 100 watt options. I'll make sure to link to a couple of them down below. So we've covered uh, connectivity devices, uh, things that definitely help me utilize my iPad better. But these days, iPads, uh, you know, we need a lot of storage because we're doing a lot of things. We're moving data between different devices and we still need external drives such as this guy right here. This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD. This is a two terabyte model. And I use this to put larger files and stuff onto this rather than sticking them in the cloud because sometimes upload and download speeds take a long time for bigger files. And so copying them over to a smaller drive like this is significantly faster. And then I can take this drive, plug it into my computer. If there are files that I wanna move from my iPad to my computer, it's often faster. If there are files that I wanna get off of my computer so that I can manage on my iPad or utilize on my iPad, I just like managing my files on an external drive more so than trying to figure out how I'm going to get through the file manager on an iPad. You can check out, I did a video on how to use these types of drives with an iPad. Uh, and it's also, I guess, money saving as well because storage is expensive on iPads. So if you buy a iPad that has a terabyte of storage then or more, you have a good amount of storage. But if you didn't spend that kind of money and now you're thinking, hmm, I'm running a little bit out of storage space or I want to do more with my iPad, but I don't have enough storage available, one of these is a fantastic way to go. Rather than deciding to just buy an iPad with more storage, look at an external storage option, such as one of these SanDisk SSDs. This is the higher end SSD uh, that is has faster transfer speeds, probably more than fast enough for most people. There is another edition as well that still has very fast solid state drive speeds, um, probably fast enough for 99.9% .9 of those out there, those of you out there who are just looking to transfer files or maybe even, uh, even watching movies off of a drive like this is gonna be more than fast enough. And so I'll link to both of them down below so you can see the two different options and decide which one's best for you. So iPads still are a thing that requires accessories. As I've talked about in this video, there are lots of things that I do, photo editing, uh, replying to emails, browsing the web, doing research, stuff like that, that are great on an iPad, but you still need things like a keyboard, a trackpad. When you're at your desk, having everything all up in your face sometimes is a little too much. So being able to space it back a little bit and use a keyboard and a mouse, although it's not what I do every single day, it is definitely a better experience than utilizing the keyboard case and trackpad. But when you're on the go, using the Magic Keyboard case is a great option because it's all in one. So that's what I do love about the iPad is its expandability through some of these accessories that make using it a joy. And so all of them are linked down below. Definitely check those out. Clicking on those links helps support the channel, so I appreciate it when you do that. And if you have any questions or if you want to share your favorite accessory with me, the comment section down below is open. Let's talk about it. But that's going to do it for today and this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.